You want to hold it perpendicular and you want to then massage the colors in. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm not particularly worried about staying in lines or not. Okay, so you can hear it even. See how I'm scrubbing? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, now this is the first coat. Okay, you can see I'm also starting to run out of color here. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a dry brush. And so now what I'm going to do Don't do that with the mercury, do you? <laughs> <laughs> or the cobalt. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, a little mercury is good for you. But what? <laughs> um, you can see how when it's dry, you keep going even though you think it's all gone. Mm -hmm. And that's what gives you the really good shading. Nice. Ah. Okay, so now if I'm going to take some red, and I'm going to come over here with it. Okay, I'm, see, I'm using it up in a slightly slathered way until it starts to run out. And when it starts to run out, then I can bring it into the other oh, area as nice a dry. Shading. And you don't necessarily get purple. Yeah. You get red and you get blue, which mm -hmm. is different than getting purple. Now, I am getting oranges, and I could get purples and such, because I'm taking uh, pigment that is wet, the yellow, and I'm putting, it, I'm dipping into it with a brush that had dry pigment red on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so I am getting orange, but if I were to actually come and start blending the two, you don't get orange, you get red and you get yellow, blending them dry. Okay, so this is basically one coat. I did get out of lines. Okay, I'm not really worried about that because your eye will be distracted from that when the piece is washed. Okay, so you use green, so I guess we should use it somewhere. And then you keep other cloth to clean stuff. Okay. Now I can go ahead and blend a little bit, but again, the blending that's done in the dry state is very different than when you're blending it in your um, dye pot. Mm -hmm. And I'm being careful since this is platinum to leave areas where the platinum is showing mm -hmm. because the pigment will mat out certain areas. Okay, so you see I just picked up a little of that to carry it. Yeah. Okay, now having done that, we're assuming this is dry at this point. I can now come back in and build up a little bit more depth of color. Now all this time I'm using a fairly big brush. If you were using a smaller brush, you know, you'd be able to have more specific control if that's what you want. But I'm also using the edge of the brush, okay, for my small, to pretend it's smaller. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and that's pretty dry at this point. So now as a dry brush, I'm going, I'm barely touching. If you listen, you see it just skirting, you can hear it just skirting the surface of my piece. Okay, and again, because it's platinum, I don't really want it very encrusted. Okay, so I'm going to have that be dry. And Carrie, if you wouldn't mind getting your dye pot, you have some in.